Lindsay Bird, welcome back to Lego Harry Potter years one through four. Today we were actually gonna be doing free playthrough right here, Diagon Alley and the Leaky Cauldron because last episode we actually completed all of Hogwarts. I went through every single room and made sure that we had everything ticked off and we did. So that is super awesome. Now we're just gonna be starting right here. As you can see, there might be plenty of things to mess around with, but as you might also be able to notice, there aren't many arrows. So I'm thinking there actually isn't too much around here to actually accomplish, but there might be like in this little latch over this way. Is there something down here? Ooh, there is. Look at this, we're getting right into it. More of the leaky cauldron. Oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? Um, the Sorcerer's Stone, 24 out of 24, the Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, these are like different years. Are these bonus levels? Gold bricks, and I get a golden brick for that? Uh, okay. Do I have to pick it up? Oh, these are like cool like little bonus monuments I get for I guess getting all of the gold bricks in a certain level set, I can only imagine. Well, there is uh the night bus. I don't really entirely know. Hard to tell, but uh, <laughs> um, I don't really know. But there we go, there's the Hogwarts Express. Yeah, that is the case. So it makes like different like little statues. And this one is the Chamber of Secrets. How cool is that? And that one's going to be the Whomping Willow. And we're getting more gold bricks for that. That is super cool. Wow. And can I do anything more with them? I guess we could just admire them. That's still, I really like that. And that's gonna be four more golden bricks for us so we can mess with these stools because what else are we doing with them? Huh, anything else to do around here? There's like more things to fiddle with. I really like that, the Dermstrang ship, the Whomping Willow, the Hogwarts Express, and the Night Bus. How cool is that? Fun little extra there, and it gave us four extra golden bricks. I really don't know if today's gonna be the last episode. It seems like we're pretty close to it if it is. Um, what's up here? I actually don't know. The Leaky Cauldron, okay, just like the second floor. Yeah, there were a couple years where Harry and Hermione and Ron spent like a night or something here. I definitely know in The Prisoner of Azkaban they did. That was one of my favorite parts. I don't know what it is, but my favorite parts of Harry Potter is when Harry, Ron, and Hermione just hang out and have like a sleepover and just act like friends, you know? Nothing wizarding about it. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is all bonus stuff. Oh, you know what? Okay, so this is all like cutscenes that we can rewatch if we wanted to, but I have one that's locked. Huh, why is that? Diagon Alley outro, locked. The Sorcerer's Stone Hogwarts intro. Huh. Yeah, there's only one of them that's locked. Isn't that weird? Um. I mean, I think these are, yeah, these are all the levels, so. <laughs> there's a lot of them, too. All the just, like, level cutscenes. So it looks like we're only missing one. I'm really confused as to why we're missing it, but maybe if we just 100% complete the rest of the game, it'll be unlocked. It just keeps going. Okay, there's a couple more locked than that. We also have 129 and 130 locked. I'll have to figure what that is, but maybe as we explore more Diagon Alley today, we'll find out. But just cool to find all these extra things and just make sure that we're doing it and completing it, all that kind of stuff. What's going on out of here? And back out into actual Diagon Alley land <laughs> out this way. It says that there's a golden brick like off that way. I don't know what that's about. It's a little confusing, but we're just gonna keep exploring things until we find what we gotta find. Maybe for right now, I'll just explore the actual alley, which is, you know, all of this, and then we'll go into the buildings and stuff and see what we can get done with that. So what does that do? You are just jumping around. I can fiddle with that. There is like a silver, oh, will this lead somewhere? Oh, it will. Not only that, but there's an arrow pointing to it. Nocturne Alley, ooh, spooky. I didn't know we could go here. This is fun. Oh, and there's a secret character up there. There's actually quite a lot of fun things to find around here. This is where all the spooky people go to do spooky things. <laughs> that was hilariously quick. Uh, this is, oh, it's Igor Karkaroff. So he's, I think, the headmaster of Durmstrang. And I do hear the harp of more things to find. Oh, I see it up there. What can I do? Oh, you know, can you blast me up, Hermione? Or can I just blast myself up? Whoa, yes I can. We get the Bloody Baron, who has, I think, the head ghost for Slytherin? 
And there's another character up there. Okay, watch it, buddy. Be gone. Lots to do around here. Will you launch me? Whoa, and that is the shifty wizard. I guess there's somebody who might look a little shifty. You gotta steer clear of him. Anything else to do around here? It looks like that's actually about it. Oh, I wait a minute. I can go into Borgen and Burks. And we get a golden brick just for heading on in. 175. But if I have all 200, there's something to do here. Whoa. What is that about? I guess we'll have to find out. That's really cool. I'm excited to see. In the meantime, there might, might be more to mess with, but it's not giving me any kind of a notifier of it. What is this over here? It's just a skeleton dancing, just like in the level. But that doesn't seem to accomplish anything. So we'll come back here for sure. Down the staircase he goes, see ya buddy. He's out of here. So we will come back once we have every single golden brick in the game. Isn't that cool? Cause we're at 174, or at 175. Yeah, what are our chances of finding 25 golden bricks in today's episode? I don't know, that's a lot of golden bricks. But there's still more to do around here. Like I said, before I go into any more places, is there still an arrow down there? There is, isn't that weird? I don't know what the idea is with that. I mean, I might just be trying to let us know, hey, there's a way to go down here, don't miss it, because it is sort of a little bit of an inconspicuous spot. And then this is, ooh, I didn't even realize, yeah, we should be able to go into Gringotts. That's gonna be cool. I'll go into there sooner or later, I guess. Right now, I'm not too focused on it. I wanna just sort of explore Diagon Alley and then I'm gonna turn around and maybe just go into each building. That'll be fun. Oh, and I was able to build this. Not much more you can do with it, but good to know I could at least do that. <laughs> so it doesn't look like I'm missing too much more. Really doesn't. So I think we can go into each one of these buildings at the least and sort of figure that out now. So I don't think there was anything more to the left when it comes to enterable buildings, but I'm just trying to make sure. So we can't go into this one, can't go into this one, but we can go into this ladies who has the school in formal well, wear Madame Malkin's robes. And there are some more characters we can buy at the least. We have Harry May's task. We also have Ron Hogwarts. Maybe I should be doing this a little bit more later. Professor Dumbledore, Professor Dumbledore, great. A million studs for him, he is expensive. Professor Squirrel. A squirrel, what am I, <laughs> this squirrel. I didn't even realize, I didn't even realize. Percy Sweater, Fred Weas, I'm just gonna keep moving because I'm embarrassed now, I got Professor Squirrel. Uh, Neville Longbottom. Seamus, Seamus Finnegan, sorry. Uh, Dean Thomas, Gryffindor Boy, Draco Malfoy. Who else do we got around here? Uh, Slytherin boy, Slytherin girl, Padma, Penelope Clearwater. Quite a lot going on. And we have almost 70 million studs. We did before we started buying all this stuff. Hufflepuff girl. So many characters, there's still quite a few missing though. And I will slowly but surely get as many of them as I possibly can. Gabrielle Delacour. Uh, Igor Karkaroth. And Rita Skeeter. Oh yeah, I remember her. She was not a fun character. Uh, Shifty Wizard, we just got him. Uh, Dudley Durs Dursley, Mrs. Mason, Mr. Mason. Very good. The Bloody Baron, Fat Friar, Nearly Headless Nick. And that's everything, okay. So what do we have percentage-wise? That's what I'm really excited to see as we explore more of this place. Uh, we're 91.1. Let's put all this together. I put it on the rack, and that got, got us another character. This is Hermione with the ball gown from the Yule Ball. Very cool. Anything over this way? Nothing I can directly interact with. That doesn't mean there's not more. Uh, hello. Ah, ah, how embarrassing. He's in his undies. And that got us Harry in a tuxedo. What about this golden brick that's blinking? That might actually be in the next room. Is she hiding? Are you okay, lady? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that seems to be everything from Adam Malkin's robes. Cause I'm pretty sure if I go through here, it's the same gold brick blinker. Because this is where I can buy some gold bricks apparently. I can buy 12 of them. So we have gold brick one, which is free. Okay, gold brick two, uh, three. And I can just keep buying them. Are they supposed to be on the screen right now? Who knows? I can afford them without even a sweat though. So like, that's a good thing. 
this is really weird. Uh -huh. Like, is it actually adding to my total at all? I sure hope so. Not buying these for nothing, you know. There we go. How many do I have in total then? I mean, that's saving, so 187. Whoa, okay, so that definitely jumped us up a little bit. What does this have? Ooh. Oh, it's one of these again. What can I do with this? Anything worthwhile? Uh, I mean, it's saying that he has another gold brick for me. Oh wait, he might, actually. Here, let me get off of this thing. Get me off of it. No, he doesn't. So why is it saying that he does? Weird. It's blinking as if I don't have enough studs, but I've already purchased it. That's concerning. Uh, what else can we do around here? I can buy the fall rescue. Yeah, we're still missing one more golden, or not red, red brick. Times six score, Hogwarts crest detector. I don't need that one. Christmas, that one's interesting. There's some more. So what what percentage now? I just get really curious. I, yeah, we're at the Ilops Al Emporium, but we're at 93.5%. That's really close. So let's go ahead and activate that extra stuff then. So we have fall rescue on. Might as well also. I don't know what most of this stuff is. <laughs> okay, we don't need the silhouettes. That's a little distracting. Um, silhouettes, probably not ice strength. That probably makes everything slippery. We'll just do disguise and carrot wands. And then we have times six studs, uh, Hogwarts crest detector, just for fun, and Christmas. Oh, we all have Christmas hats. Even Hermione, who now looks like she doesn't have any hair. <laughs> That's funny. Alrighty, we'll, we'll turn the Christmas off because it's a little weird. There we go. Um, so yeah, how many studs are we getting, like multiply-wise? Guess we'll have to go and find out. I don't know what's going on with this. Like maybe it is something with this. Maybe I can just clean you up a little bit. Let's clean up your business. No. That really is concerning. Um, maybe something with the, the owls? Nope, they're just chilling out. I really hope I haven't missed something with you. But anyways, there's another room right here. <laughs> I love the carrot wands. What is this? Oh, you know, maybe this is what I'm pointing at, but we have times 960. What are these? Slugulus Eructo, multi corfers Corfos. They're different spells. Okay. So let's try all these then. We have Slugulus Eructo. Unlocked. Isn't that bizarre? So let me try Slugulus Eructo. Is it turning, okay, well that didn't work. It's busted. There we go, Slugulus Eructo. Will you turn into a slug? I mean, if you weren't already a frog, maybe? Wait, hold on. Slugulus Elect, no. Isn't this weird? There. Now it's slug. And, oh yeah, that's when you start Coughing up the slugs, gross. All right, well now we know that. multi corfers Corphos, multi corfos Maybe it changes his color of his clothes. But these are just like different for fun spells. We definitely wanna try all these. Ricta Sempra. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this one. Okay, well it looks like Harry's gonna be a little bit of an experimentation person for us. Uh, Entomorphous. Oh, it turns him into an ant? Weird. But all right. And then we also have Tarant Tar Tarantula Legra. So I guess it makes Tarantula Legra. And I don't know, they're all tongue twisters. That is gonna make people dance, probably. We also have Locomotor Mortis. Well, I guess you're not gonna be locomoting anywhere. What is this next one? I'm sort of excited to see this one. This one's Redactum Skullus. Oh, does it make their skull smaller? That's sort of creepy. I thought it was gonna make their body bigger. All right, well, there's that. And Colovaria. It turns our hair on fire. That's interesting. How many more are there? That just keeps going and going. I wonder if this adds to the percentage. Calvorio, <laughs> it makes them bald. All right. And there's still at least one more. Oh, there's a cut, good couple more. Uh, Antio Culadia. Antio Culadia. Guess that makes your hair fly away. Lots of hair-related spells. 
herbivores, it turns your hair into plants. All right, well, there's that one. Next up, we have Glacius. Oh, it turns you into ice. That one's a little bit more concerning. And this is Incar Incarcerous. So they're incarcerated, I guess. They are just like covered up in the ropes. They can't move. There's so many of these we're gonna have to try. Oh my gosh. Flipendo. Oh, this will make them upside down. Which is funny, because there is a spell like that, but it's not called Flipendo. Hmm. Uh, Trip Jinx. <laughs> so this one's a little bit more to the point. I think this next one is maybe the last one? Maybe not. No, there's there's three more, actually. Stupefy, I know that one. That one's definitely in the books. And then there's also Engorgio Skullis. Ugh, there's a, there's a shrinking skull and now an engorging skull. Both of those sound very uncomfortable. And then finally, finally, Akio. Oh, well, really, Akio. Oh, that's cool. That's actually really useful. Oh, and that goes there. I could have really used that throughout most of the game, I feel. And what's going on now? Um, Nothing, okay, it sort of looked weird. Anyways, should we try some of these? Like we got Multi-Corphos. It makes your color clothes change. They just change through so fast though. This turns you into an ant. Um, this one will make it so that you can't move. This will shrink your head or maybe make it, okay, there it is. Poor Harry. What do we got now? This should turn your hair on fire or I guess maybe turn you into a redhead. You look like a Weasley, okay. And then we can get rid of your hair or do that one. <laughs> ah! Okay, we can ice ya. Poor Harry right now is not doing so well. I'm trying to take them all out, but it's really hard to. Oh, yikes. Okay, we're still in Flipendo. Now we're in some other flip. It was, that was a trip jinx. This one is Stupefy. Oh, and then we're back to the beginning? I guess so. Did I miss any? Like, I know there was a dancing one. And we got most others. Looks like it. All right, cool. I'm glad we got that. There's more though, there has to be. There's like a golden, okay, well that's like cheat codes, isn't it? But how do we get this golden brick that's back here? And what's with this noise that I'm hearing, with the scratching? Is there another room I can go into that I'm missing? I'm not quite sure. Unless there's supposed to be some kind of hidden cheat code I'm unaware of that maybe allows you entrance in here. That would sort of be an unfair thing to do, wouldn't it? I mean, they could have done it. I have no clue. I feel like it has to be with the sweeping thing. Like maybe I can, oh, I do see the dirt sort of going away. Because there's never been one of these without it serving a purpose, you know? And like it is just like not really working on some spots, but I can also clean down here. So maybe I just gotta keep going. It's very hard to tell, but it definitely made some kind of progress. So I'll just like keep going until, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, so there is this gold brick. Now the question is, is the gold brick still gonna be over on that other side? We still have 12 more gold bricks to find and I'm getting increasingly concerned about where in the world they are. Can I not leave? Okay, there we go. I think it was the game was saving. I couldn't leave. So back into this room. Yeah, it's no longer there. That was that gold brick. But the problem now, I mean, I guess we know that it could be in Gringotts. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna search now is all of Gringotts, Gringotts, whatever it is, and see if we can't find the remainder of what we're trying to find, because if not, I have no clue what is going on. Oh boy. <laughs> and he had the mustache too because of our red brick. That's funny. Anyways, <laughs> as you can see, I love the look of these guys with the, wow, this is cool. We got all this. Can I switch over to you? Yes, I can. So let's open up some of these rooms. This guy is not happy in this painting. He's like, hey, go into there. Do it now. It's number one. It's the first thing you should do. What is this? Um. Oh, bonus level. Wait, what? Bonus levels? You're kidding me. Oh, really? All right, I guess, how many are there? There's so many. So many. 
it just keeps going. Wait, wait, what? How many bonus levels are there? Which one is this? Hold up the sign. There was like 25. There was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 bonus levels. I feel like that's gonna be its whole whole episode next time. I don't want this episode to be super short, but, oh, I guess when we leave, it undoes it. Weird. I wanna do that for sure, so there's bonus levels in there. That might have to be next episode. I don't know really too much more what we can do in today's episode, though. <laughs> I mean, we're 93.6 of the way through. I can only hope that the last, like, actually, I think that's gonna be something I searched for. Because I don't think, with 10 hidden levels, right, or bonus levels, I don't see how the one red brick one mystery character and one uh, student in peril could all be in there. You know, that doesn't make any sense. So I feel like I'm missing a room somewhere and I need to figure that out. So here's an embarrassing situation. I was so stuck on this that I actually ended up looking up where the times four red brick is. Here's the problem. Apparently you cannot go through, and I swear this stuff wasn't going up before the last time I was in here. Um, weird because you cannot go through doors like this if it is saving. If the game is saving, it will not let you go through doors like that. So I had thought that when I tried to go down here, you just couldn't go down. That it was just like sort of something for the story mode. Apparently I was wrong. But look at this, the red brick is just chilling here. So this is actually gonna be the last red brick, the last uh, mystery character or whatever, the last uh, student in peril. Oh my gosh, I feel so embarrassed that I missed out on this stuff. I'm so sorry, because I was like, oh yeah, Hogwarts is done in the last episode. Not quite the case whatsoever. Let's just keep blasting this until this guy is free. Come on. There you go, you're free. And that is the last student in peril. Maybe. There you go, yeah, okay. And that is the final student in peril, look at it. How beautiful is that? Do we get a golden brick for all the student in perils completed? No. All right, yeah, raise me up so I can get some extra studs up that way. So now we're just looking for one more mystery character. I can only hope that's in here. Um, whoa. Uh, the water is heating up. Oh gosh, it's bath time, I guess. And there's a golden brick. All right, that's 190, which means the next 10 will most likely be those hidden levels that we'll do in the next episode. Uh, is there anything else I can do here? So is there no hidden character here, though? Oh, there's not. I mean, it's not telling me of one, unless I just missed it, so let me keep exploring. There's Harry's face on a dartboard because the Slytherins are mean. No, there's gotta be a hidden character around here somewhere. Gotta be. Because if not, I don't know where that is. Oh, there's a little jukebox. I mean, I, I might as well mess with this stuff. Everybody in the pool's dancing. It is weird that there's just like stuff in the bottom of the pool there that doesn't seem to be doing much. I'm not sure. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Let's go ahead and blast this bed. It's the only one I haven't explored. There's somebody sleeping on it. Excuse me. Oh, I guess they're just gonna lull, lull you back to sleep. Good night. Oh, sorry, Hagrid. And that was it. Okay, well, unfortunately, I'm still missing a character. I don't know what character that is. I guess the best way to find out would be to go back to Diagon Alley, go to our character completion list, and just sort of see what we're missing, and sort of just look that up, I guess. I'm sorry that I have to end up looking it up, but like, what other choice do I really have in this situation? I don't know, but we're almost done, so that's great. So let's try to see what characters we're missing. I really don't know. Uh, well, here's Harry Tuxedo, and then over this way we have Hermione Ballgown, and it really is just a question of like, which character do I not have, you know? So, going through the whole thing, uh, everything seems fine here. Man, we've gotten so many characters. I mean, we literally only have one more to find, and then everything else we just have to purchase. So, like, that's awesome. But, uh, come on now, almost halfway there, I think. <laughs> There's over 100 characters. Okay, so right here, after Grip Hook, but before Professor Quirrell Voldemort. All right, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. I'm writing that down, okay. Um, but where are the other characters we can at least purchase? Because that's what I want to figure out for right now. Uh, I don't think it's too many. It's only like a one or two, I think. 
that we found in Diagon Alley. And like, maybe that's just it, I don't know. Like maybe we do find the other one in the one of the 10 bonus levels, but I don't think so, that doesn't sound right. That's everything. Okay, so we have to figure that out now. Um, beyond that, like I said, we found every red brick, all 50 students in peril, of course, all 24 true wizards, we found that a while ago. The one missing character is what we're trying to look for now, and then 10 gold bricks that we'll probably get for completing the bonus levels, and then the 24 Hogwarts crests. So I'm gonna go and try to figure that out now. Okay, so I was able to confirm the last character can only be unlocked once you have all 200 golden bricks. So that's exactly what we'll do in the next episode. We will go through all of the bonus levels, get all the golden bricks, and then be 100% completed with the game. I'm really looking forward to that. We are so very close, we'll be ever so closer in the next episode of Lego Harry Potter years one through four. Before you go, be sure to comment Diagon Zebra so you've watched the end of the you are a Zebratastic viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.